Hi, I'm Dave Eicher, editor of Astronomy Magazine. Today, in Astronomy's video series, I'm going to talk about Galileo and his early use of the telescope. Galileo's first telescopes were very simple items and were invented on the hearsay of what Dutch craftsmen had produced. In March 1610, Galileo sent Cosimo II de' Medici, Grand Duke of Tuscany, the telescope used for his first discoveries. Subsequently, the telescope's lens was broken and its tube was lost. But the broken lens may still be seen in the Science Museum in Florence, along with another framed item, the remains of the middle finger of Galileo's right hand. Galileo's first telescopes were approximately one-inch aperture lenses set in leather-wrapped tubes with glass stained green by their iron content. The magnifying power of the first telescopes he tinkered with was two or three times, but he quickly improved this to ten and later on twenty times. The telescope seen here is in the Science Museum in Florence. Sociologically, as was the case with many scientists, Galileo was unusual. A devout Roman Catholic, he nonetheless fathered three children out of wedlock with Marina Gamba, Virginia, born in 1600, Livia, born in 1601, and Vincenzio, born in 1606. The two girls went to the convent of San Mateo in Arcetri, and Virginia took the name Maria Celeste. The correspondence between she and Galileo is magnificent and is highlighted in the great books by Deva Sobel, Galileo's Daughter and Letters to Father. With several of his observations, particularly those of Venus and Jupiter, Galileo promoted the Copernican sun-centered theory beginning in 1610. By 1612, Galileo was already embroiled in controversy as the theory contradicted church teachings of the Ptolemaic earth-centered cosmos as supported by scripture. Trouble with the church brood. In 1616, Galileo received an admonition. In 1632, his dialogue concerning the two chief world systems in which he put down evidence for Copernicanism and ridiculed the old view was published. In October of that year, he was ordered to appear before the court and ultimately found guilty of heresy. From 1634 until his death, Galileo was held in house arrest in Arcetri, the last six years of his life spent also in blindness. Despite his struggles with the church, Galileo left a towering legacy. He was the first to observe the sky telescopically and to analyze the observations empirically. He was the first to recognize the cosmos works by the principles of the language of mathematics. Recent astronomers have lavished praise on Galileo in their summary of his value to science. Albert Einstein simply said, he was the father of modern science. Galileo bears more of the responsibility for the birth of modern science than anyone else, says Stephen Hawking. Any way you measure him, Galileo was a genius whose footsteps still affect us every day. And that's the story of some of Galileo's most important early telescopic observations. Until next time, I'm Dave Eicher, editor of Astronomy. I'll see you out under the stars.